people in the Canine Kindness Society. Why don't you come to the party tonight? Me? And I want you to tell them that story exactly the way you told it to me. And I want to be able to. Will I see you tonight? You can count on it. Oh, and bring King. Huh? We must meet this animal. You, you want to have dogs at your party? <laughs> We're all dog lovers. Well, I don't know. The king's not much of a party animal. I, <laughs> I insist. I'll see you at five o'clock. We'll be here. The king and I. <laughs> I'm not gonna fool Mrs. Grizzly Dog. If the only thing standing between us and a $10 million athletic center is a stupid dog, we're gonna find a stupid dog. Okay, I'm gonna go along with this just one time. If you promise me never, never to lie again as long as you live. I promise. Liar. <laughs> ah, can I help you? Yeah. We are looking for a very special dog. A dog that could have uh, rescued someone from a snowstorm. So, you know, a big, something like a Great Dane or a St. Bernard or like a German Shepherd. Ah, oh, yes. I know exactly the kind of dog you're looking for. Great! We have nothing like that. <laughs> what do you mean? You're a pound. You have tons of dogs. And we did. We had several tons, right up until Christmas Eve. And then, as happens every year, dozens of people came in at the last minute and adopted dogs for their kids. Are you telling me you don't have any dogs? But I'm telling you, we don't have the wonder dog you're in need of. Okay, maybe it doesn't have to be a gigantic dog. Maybe it all has to be a smart dog. Ah, yes, in that case, I can help you. This is an extremely intelligent dog. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh. We call him, uh, we call him Yoda. Are you joking? This isn't a dog, it's a pull toy. Come on. A dog. The other one we have is over here. Let me see if he's awake. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, it's full of beans. Come on. <laughs> yes, this is, uh, this is Quincy. What's the matter with him? Nothing. He's not doing anything. You ever had a Basset? No. You ever had a ficus tree? Yeah. Well, they're pretty much the same thing. <laughs> I can't believe this. You mean these are our choices? This one doesn't even look like a dog, and this one looks like a bag a dog used to be in. Excuse me, I better get that phone. A Luther, man, Mrs. Rizendo's never gonna believe this dog saved my life. Well, I don't know, baby. I can believe this dog saved your life. I mean, look at those big eyes, those ears, those feet. Yeah, you could be a hero, couldn't you? Listen to him wheeze, I think he likes me. <laughs> Let's get him. What do you mean, let's get him? Luther, the dog doesn't do anything. How do you know he doesn't do anything? We haven't even given him a chance. You'd be, you'd be amazed when you see what I can teach this dog. Isn't that right? Hey, come on, Quincy, show him what you can do. Come on! Come on! Roll over! Roll over! Come on, Quincy! Come on, roll over! Roll over! Sit up! Sit up! Bang! 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 Sit up! Roll over! Come on, shake hands! Stay! <laughs> Do you see that? Stan is the hardest thing for a dog to learn. He picked it up just like that. Luther, we are in trouble. No one's going to believe this dog's a hero. Doesn't have to be heroic at the party, Hayden. All he has to do is make people fall in love with him, and they will. I mean, just look at him. He's got that certain something in his eyes. I think those are cataracts. <laughs> so, have you decided? Come on, let's get him. Oh, let's get him. <laughs> Okay, how much for Mr. Excitement here? Fifteen bucks, and uh, that includes a shot. Well, that wouldn't be a shot of adrenaline, would it? <laughs> why, don't you, um, why don't you bring him to the office and we'll sort out the paperwork? I think you'll have years of enjoyment. Oh, no, we're not having years of enjoyment. We'll have about three or four hours of enjoyment, and then I'm bringing him back. Come on, Quincy. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Him, him, him! Come on, come on, come on, come on! We're gonna have. We got a brand, we got a brand new home. We got a new home. We got a new home. Okay, he's gonna get it. Get it. Oh, 
I'm wonderful now that you're here. Thank you for flying up on such short notice. Oh, well, this is a very special occasion. We're finally going to get to breed the two finest Afghans in North America. <laughs> <laughs>